Today, I'll be teaching you how to actually read time of the Mimic Run. So, this video will be separated into three parts pre read timing, read timing, and post read timing, because each section is obviously important. Right, so today I'll be teaching you the pre, post, and normal read timing of the Mimic Run. For verifiers, or really anybody else, you will first have to go to the Mimic leaderboards. Obviously, you can see if a run needs to be retimed if A. They have an unreasonable time in the, in the milliseconds. For example, in this run, you have an unreasonable time. If you divide six, 7 by 60, which is the frame per second that they're going to, you get 116 or 117 if you round it. And you divide 8 by 60 and you get 133. None of these are the 120 that they're explaining. As 120 is obviously greater than 1, uh, 116 and 133. So the second situation is if they have a 000 time or a 0500 time, which is obviously very rare, on very rare occasions that can happen, but usually it means that it need to be retimed. So we'll go into the run and we'll first pause. Obviously this run has already have been moderated and looked for cheating. So that's fine, but what you need to do is right click on the video, stats for nerds, and on this current slash optimal res, it basically shows right after the at how many frames per second the video is on. Now this one is on 60, and that will be needed for later. Right, so I had forgotten something very important. For this section, you'll actually need a notepad. Now, you could use a notepad or you could use Google Chrome, which doesn't really matter, but for a notepad, you'll need this to actually retime and keep time of your time, keep track of your time. Since I'm using, since I'm retiming a chapter 2 run, I will separate it into chapter 2, part 1, and part 2, and part 3. Now, since I'm doing chapter 2, I only need 3 parts, but if you're doing a different run, or retiming a different run, say chapter 1, you'll only need 2 parts. Now the other way, and this is the way that I like to do it, is doing the whole run, which is start, which is the end minus the start time, and then load 1, and load 2. Both of these are basically the same, but um, it'll just take it'll just take you different ways after you calculate the loads. Now, both of these runs, you'll have to either add parts, or you'll have to subtract loads. So that's basically the notepad, and this notepad will obviously be very helpful in keeping track of everything that's happening. And you can double check your math. That concludes the pre-retiming section, now we'll move on to the retiming section. Now that we have our two well, now that we have a basis on what the pre-retiming of a run looks like, we're going to move on to the actual retiming bit. So, now, in this run, let's see. So, they're starting a chapter 2 normal run, which is solo. Well, I have jungle axe and then so, I just have a undead sword for when it goes I'm gonna to first turn down the volume. Because I don't, Cameron is fucking. 
I don't really want to look at that. But now... Yeah. We're gonna first see when they move. Because obviously, uh, uh, tumble, tumble it starts the when day. the person moves. So, right there, at around 35 seconds. Now, you want to use the... To go frame by frame, you want to use the comma and the period button. Or the less than and greater than uh, things. These will allow you to move back one frame or forward one frame. And these will obviously come into handy extremely in every part of the frame we time. So let's continue on and see the exact frame that they move. So it seems like they're not moving anymore. So what we want to do first is, you see how 34 went to 35? That's basically what it is. That's basically what we're going to do to everything. Being because when it's 34, because this is of course a out of 60 frames per second, then this is actually at 34 and 59 frames. Once we go one frame ahead, we're now at 34 and 60 frames. Or as it says, 35, 0 out of 60. Now that's the exact first frame, or technically last frame, of the next, of the second before. Now each frame that we go ahead, or each tap of the forward arrow slash period, will move us one frame ahead. So basically, I'm going to count the amount of frames until they start moving from their position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8. That means that this run is exactly on 8 out of 60 frames. At the start, so then it's 35, 8 out of 60. So I'm going to put that as the start. 35, 8 out of 60. And that's of course the start of part 1. And then we can also do this. 35, 8 out of 60. Now these are the different ways to retime of course I'll be showing you both of them but you can choose whichever one feels more comfortable <clears throat> so let's continue on now that we've found the starting of the run let's find the ending of the first part so now they're reaching the green door and it seems like that's the loading please wait. So now let's do the same strategy. Now of course you can also actually time it by doing by going to the second over and then timing from 60, 59, 58 or 30, 29, 28. But I personally don't like that although it's really just your preference. So there's the 13 to 14, and then we're gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18, 17, 18. That means it's at 4, 14, 18 out of 60. So, 4, 14, 18 out of 60. And this is basically what you're going to do for every run. And of course, this also is the starting of load 1. So, we can just put the 4, 14, 18 out of 60. Let's see. 
and go to it. So now we have the first part of load one, and you can see that it's it's very um, it's similar, right? You time the parts and then you just add them and then you do the whole run and you subtract the loads. It's just the same thing, but it's it's different. I mean, obviously. So I'm gonna continue retiming this run and I'll uh, show the result. So basically I did the math in chapter 2 this run of course and it seems like I came up to 921.50 5 out of 6 for both of them and then obviously 921.083 is the end result so yeah that's basically what the retiming section of a run is so we've gotten everything that we need from our retiming section and we have our final time so what to do now well obviously it's to update the run you want to go into edit run with the three dots and you don't want to change anything else except the time the time aspect now our current time is 8.21.0.8.3 so we want to put 8.21.0.8.3 now remember there is a lot of ways to mess up this time for example let's say you get a time of well, let's say you got a time of 9.30 and exactly 500 milliseconds. Now, if you put in that time as 9.35, that's it. If you put in it as 9.35, the 5 will automatically make it a 5. That's it. 5 milliseconds. 005 meaning that it's actually 495 milliseconds faster than what it actually is and of course an invalid retime you don't want to make mis this mistake now you don't want to make the other mistake as well which is to shift the time up now this is an uncommon mistake as usually it's almost impossible to make it but if you just put a 0 0.830 for example in this situation where it's actually 921.083 that will increase your time by uh i don't know but it'll increase it by 83 times 9 and you don't want that to happen either so that's why you always want to be careful about timing a mimic run and it can get kind of confusing but as long as you stay consistent and remember the rules of retiming then you should be fine just input it correctly now after looking at that section you want to make sure that everything else is correct and then you want to put in the description exactly two enters from the original one mod note or verifier note if you are a verifier in this case it will be mod note uh, because I am obviously a super mod and you'll put either one of two things Either A, retimed to our new time, which is 821.083, 921.083 from the original time, which was 921.120. Or you can also put mod note 
retimed from 921.120 to 921.083. Both are acceptable. <laughs> but I'm just gonna stick with the first one I put. So that's basically everything you want to do in a to retime successfully a the mimic speedrun. So I had actually forgot to mention this, but if you have a run that's exactly the same exact time, you wanna put mod note retimed or not retimed actually you wanna put mod note your run is exactly frame perfectly timed and that will just let us know that this is this run is actually retimed because if you don't put anything there then we might just try to retime it again and that'll waste some time uh yeah so basically that's it bye i guess oh yeah also submit it remember that so yeah that's it and on chapter 2 normal nightmare you'll see the runs is updated